guys i am yogesh today i am going to discuss that how you can read the json data through the javascript so guys to uh, complete this task i am just creating a simple html page here i am using visual studio 2015 uh, which is generally used to create dotnet based projects so guys um, first i want to tell you that uh, you want to read some data from the json okay so what you will do first you have to create a json file first and you will put some objects or you know arrays whatever you want to add over there so just uh, let me create add new item uh, go to the uh, search browser and write json you will have the json file and my json file is data.json okay so in this json i am going to create an object how we can identify that i am writing a object remember whenever you are you want to create a object in json you have to take it in curly braces and uh, the json objects includes the key and value pairs key value pairs uh, you know uh, if you want to write the key value pairs you have to write like this this is the key after that you have to put colon and uh, the value like my name is yogesh so this is the value if you want to put some another value use the comma separator and write uh, designation and uh, this is the key and developer this is the value so uh, by this way you have created the json object and in this json object we are just writing the key value pairs okay so uh, i just want to create a input type button when user will click over here and you will get the json data from the json file i want to take here a uh, javascript and ajax okay so get data this is the function and you want to put that data into div tag like this it's fine so what i will do first i have to write the function body over here script function get data okay so guys uh, it's a very easy task is not a very tough task first you have to create the ajax request and uh, using the ajax request you can do it so what i will do how we can the uh, ajax request i'm not uh, you know completing that uh, what is the ajax and how we can perform the ajax over here i'm just writing the code to get the ajax data so i just creating the object you know xxttp and uh, here i am to take uh, xml http request it's a predefined object using this object you can create the ajax request okay okay so what i will do first here xstp dot on ready state change okay it's a predefined property or you can it's a predefined function that will execute whenever the ready state change and ready state completes the all the you know details of ajax request like ajax request is initialized ajax request is completed uh, your web server connection has been established so all these things are managed by the ready state property so here you have to check ready state uh, x http remember this function is called whenever the ready state has been changed so ready state you will get the you know there are some predefined states like uh, here i am taking the code 4 four means that your server connection has been established and the server uh, complete the request and uh, return the response okay so in that condition the code of the ready state would be 4 okay another thing uh, you want to check the status also so how we can check the status status is 200 it means that your status is okay okay so it means that uh, by writing this particular code you can understand your ajax request has been completed successfully now what i will do i just want to get the data into the javascript object because if you want to put the data into the html tags in that condition you have to use the dom api or you have to convert into javascript object so how we can get json provides a predefined method that that is a json dot parse using this json dot parse you can you know convert your json data into the javascript object okay so 
in this json dot parse what i will do i just uh, add over here as xdp dot response okay so this is the property by which uh, response will return the object and uh, a json object and json object will convert into a javascript object through the json dot parse method and it will store it into the java object okay so i have to write some code over here to write uh, to get the data into div tag as i know that uh, div1 is the id of the div dot inner html in this inner html what i will do i have to take the java object and i want just want to put name property name is what it is a key of json object okay okay so it means that your code is not completed yet what you will next you have to create the ajax request through the open method in this open method you have to pass some parameters first is the string method that which method you are going to use like get post whatever you want to take over here i am just taking the get and string url what is the string url the url of your json file so my url is on root domain so that is why i am using the data.json okay third one is the asynchronous or synchronous let me take it synchronous by using the boolean attribute true here we are getting some other options like username and password but these are the optional because username password are used to connect your web server okay so as of now i am con uh, connecting with the local server that is why it's not required and after it you have to put dot send so it's a predefined method by which your ajax request can be implemented okay guys so let me execute the program and let's see that what we are getting okay your pro uh, your project is uh, complete uh, executed completely now click you are not getting any data let me check that what error we are getting over here uh, the server response is status of 404 okay there are some missing uh, what i have done over here HTTP. Okay, 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 okay. Sorry, 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 sorry. I have to write this particular code out of this curly braces. Okay, so your statement has been completed here. Now let me execute this again. Click. You are getting the data. Okay. So in this way, by which uh, you can read the JSON data, and if you want to another another key, you can get it through the JavaScript object, JavaScript object, and DEC DES designation. Okay. I have taken another key value, and you have concreted this, and uh, when you click, you are getting the data. So, guys, this is the way by which you can read the JSON uh, data from uh, through the JavaScript and AJAX. Okay, guys, I hope that you like this particular uh, video. So, guys, uh, please uh, subscribe my channel. I am going to upload more videos based on JavaScript, jQuery, Angular, and more of things uh, I am going to discuss. So, guys, thank you very much.